How's it going? It is humid today. I mean, it's only 70 degrees, but it is humid. It's like 120%. It just rained a little bit, but not enough. Whew. So today, we are getting ready for chickens. My neighbor decided he wants to do chickens and offered to go in on it with me. So we started building a chicken coop. We are using all materials that are used, recycling, fencing, four by fours, two by fours, plywood, whatever we can get a hold of. <clears throat> so we've gotten a good start on it. Let me show you. So I've never built a chicken coop before. So this is a new experience and Jonathan hasn't either. <clears throat> so we are just hobbing it together. No real design or plan, just seeing what works and we'll figure it out as we go. But hopefully here in the next couple weeks or a week or so, we'll get some chickens. So you can see we got the chicken wire on the bottom and the coop's gonna be back here obviously. We're just using old fencing to make the roof and the deck and we have a lot more of that fencing if we need it. And we're going to enclose all this, put the uh, roosting boxes on either side with a door that drops down and there'll be a door up here with a slide and a a uh, ramp for the chickens and they'll have all this nice protected space and we're, like I said we're just trying to figure it out because neither one of us have ever built a chicken house before this is six foot wide by 12 feet long if you go think about the what they say for humane um, keeping chickens in a humane area it's two square feet per chicken so we could have like 36 chickens in here, which I think would be quite a bit. But myself and most of my neighbors around here are all in the same place. We all want to become self-sufficient, at least food-wise. So the chickens will help. And maybe next year I'll get a couple of pigs in the springtime. And bring them in to butcher in the fall. So I just put these in, what, a week and a half, two weeks ago? They are growing like crazy. This is just some cheap topsoil from Walmart that was $1.58 a bag. I threw a little bit of fertilizer in it. And you can see they're already coming on. Once the blooms open up, I'll do some uh, hand pollinating, make sure I'm getting things pretty good. A couple of tomato plants are actually doing all right. I did a little pruning this morning, or actually yesterday on the... Uh, the leaves on the bottom because you can see we're getting powdery mildew on them. I don't know why but we are. And over here we got zinnias on the front and we got a couple more cucumber plants in here, some pepper plants, a few more tomato plants. And yeah I'm pretty sure I overplanted. Uh, yeah I, I definitely overplanted. But we'll see what happens. Whatever I get this year is a, is a bonus I figure. Oh, and then chickens will go down there in those trees because that stays shady all the time. And we haven't even gotten into the, the hot part of the year yet with uh, here in Oklahoma. It's really only, I think the hottest it's gotten is 80. And I think today is one of the real first humid days we've had. It rained almost an inch of rain last night. But that's, that's the great thing here. And even on this chicken coop, that slanted roof, I'm going to put a rain gutter down and I will bring that down to collect water for the chickens. So that's why it's not a big space, but whatever I get is less water I have to take out of my big barrels. So I'm going to try to make some automatic feeders and... I don't like these legs don't go all the way down, but we've had them all the way down and decided to raise it up a little bit more and make access a little easier in here and put a couple of uh, roosting branches 
for the chickens in there. So I'll bring you back. My neighbor went to get uh, some family that are coming up and this is all good. Yeah, I'm gonna tarp, I'm gonna, I am gonna tarp over the top here. So the chickens aren't getting wet. And we'll collect some rainwater from that and feed the chickens. Awesome, see you later. What I've been working on is a couple of nesting boxes. So you got two of them with three, they're gonna go on the sides here. And I'm actually gonna build uh, one more for either side. So I'll have four on both sides. Eight nesting boxes should be pretty good for what we have. And like I said, there'll be a, um, a door right here that'll open up and that'll be the back side of this. And I've never built nesting boxes before, so I'm just going by pictures I've seen and videos I've seen. And hopefully it all works out. We're not sure what kind of chickens we're going to get yet. Um, there's definitely there's always buff, or, uh, buff oftentons available. But maybe some Rhode Island Reds. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay. <clears throat> so I meant to show a lot more of the finishing up here. But I just, um, well, it is humid today and it's hot. And it's supposed to be like 95 degrees. And I just needed to get it done and get the chickens moved over. So let's take a look. So I got the outside of the boxes, the nesting boxes covered. I got the inside of the nesting boxes covered. And look at all the little chickens. I just put them in here. I need to secure this. But my little chickens, they're freaking out. They're like, what is all this space? They, they only had that one little box. And now they got all this space. And they're all staying huddled up together. Look at them getting some strength there. They can get right up there. Now they can get up on the roosting bar. I got the feed hanging so it won't get as dirty. You got all the sawdust chips in there. That'll make them happy. That's what they've been living in. So look at them. They're like, oh, what is all this? You little chickens. He's going to jump right into him. He's going to crowd surf. Oh! <laughs> Chickens. Oh, you found your food already. Calming down already, huh? So, I just need to do something to latch that door, which I'll probably just put a screw through it for today. But we got chickens on the roost. Look at that. What are you girls doing? They're like, hey, I can see outside. Easy. Easy. They're like, I don't know what I'm doing in here. Now you can't get through the chicken wire. Maybe you'll figure that out real quick, won't you? And they all just packed up up here. These are my buddies. They're my buddies. It's not a worm. It's my finger. It's not a worm. It's my finger. Chickens. Yeah, they're a little freaked out by the whole moving experience today, but they'll be all right. Hey, girl. Hey, little chicken. Come here. Easy. You're trying to hang on the wrong spot. Most of them are pretty nice. It's pecking at my finger like it's a worm. It ain't no worm. So, I'm going to let these two go for a little while. They're hiding down in that corner. So, it was a little traumatic moving in here. So, I'll check them in a couple hours. Make sure they're not still hiding back there. Get the water and feed hanging up here. So, that should be better for them. Oh, alrighty. Okay, for the time being, that's it for the chickens. I got some more work to do on it, but they can't, they're not going to be moving down to the, the main section, the, the run, for probably a couple weeks. They get a little bit bigger, I'll build a uh, platform to go down, a little ramp for them. 
and I'll get this door put up and I'll get the back taken care of and we'll get this painted. And then hopefully everybody survives the trauma. But for the time being, that's good. And I'll see you later.